The following video contains commentary based on available information. Any conclusion drawn or assumptions made based on that information should not be treated as fact. Hyperbole and sarcasm will be used to make things entertaining. Enjoy. What's up, meatbags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD coming at you with another video. We're going to be looking at the uh, hype surrounding the Intellivision Amico. Is there any interest? Are people looking for it? Are they searching it? And uh, we're going to be using Google Trends to just take a look at how often people are searching the term up, Television Amico, how often people are on the internet looking for it. Now, uh, if you notice, we got Intellivision Amico here in our search term, and it is in quotations. If you know how Google works, you know that if you put quotations around a search term, it will only give you results for that exact phrase. If we were to put in television Amico with no quotations, it would give us results that have just in television, results that just have Amico, and uh, anything in between. But by putting those quotations, we are making it so that only in television Amico, exactly as it is, is going to come up. So sorry if you misspell in television and you, you put it with like an extra E or an extra L or only one L and Amico, that won't come up, that won't be hidden to the results here. So a uh, little advice to the shills out there, to the people making the videos, make sure you spell things correctly because that will have an impact on how people search for it. That will have an impact on how it trends on Google. Now we also got to take a look at exactly what this data means. Good thing that Google provides these helpful little... Uh... So we got interest over time. It says numbers represent search interest relative to the highest point on the chart for the given region in time. A value of 100 is the peak popularity for the term. A value of 50 means that the term is half as popular. A score of 0 means there's not enough data for that term. Now what that means is, on this chart, a 100, it's not representing a number, it's representing a percentage. It's representing the highest peak of popularity for that term. And as we can see... The highest peak for the popularity of the term in Television Amico was on August 2nd to the August 8th. That's probably due to the August 5th, 6th event. You know, <clears throat> that big event they held, the Earthworm Jim video. So that was the highest, <coughs> excuse me, that was the highest point in which people were searching out in Television Amico. Now, this is not a good thing. You see, while there should be a peak around the events, you know, the August 5th event, the January 1st event, uh, different releases of videos from the official channel, this should be going up. This chart should be going up. Now, being the highest point would be fine if the next couple of days things were going up, if things were going in a, in a, in a high direction. But by August 16th, we're at 9%. It had dropped dramatically. The interest in, in Television Amico just dropped from August 2nd to the 8th to the 16th to the 22nd. It just dropped. We're sitting at now at only 3% was the last data point we got from January 10th to January 16th. That means 97% of the interest in Amico is gone from its highest point. I mean, from the big August 5th event until now, nobody's searching for it. People lost interest in it. They're just not talking about it. They're just not looking it up. Now, if we scroll on down, we can see which regions have the highest interest in Amico. And again, we have this little helpful question mark here, and it'll tell us what it means. It says, interest by region. See in which location your term was most popular during the specified time frame. Values are calculated on a scale from 0 to 100 where 100 is the location with the most popularity as a fraction of the total searches in that location. A value of 50 indicates a location which is half as popular. A value of 0 indicates a location where there is not enough data for this term. Note, a higher value means a higher proportion of all queries, not a higher absolute query count. So a tiny country where 80% of the queries are for bananas will get twice the score of a giant country where only 40% of the queries are for bananas. Now, if you don't understand that, let me break it down a little. What it means is, somewhere like the United States that has a large population, it only has a 71, 
Well, no, it's Canada. Excuse me. 68% for the U.S. But the U.S. has a way higher population than somewhere like Sweden, which has a score of 100. All that means is that of all the searches, Sweden's percentage that we're looking for Amico in television Amico were higher than all the searches percentage that we're looking for in the United States. <clears throat> so while there might be more absolute numbers, there might be more actual people in the U.S. looking for Intellivision Amico versus Sweden, the higher percent of the Swedish population is actually looking for Amico than the percent of the United States population looking for Intellivision Amico. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope you can understand and follow us. So as we can see, Sweden is the number one country interested in Intellivision Amico by population, by population percentage, I should say. Then you got Canada, United States, Ireland, Peru. Those are your top five. Now, judging by this, the smart move, the smart play would be to focus on Canada and the U.S. as they have a large population. And they seem to have the most interest comparable to the rest of the world in Television Amico. Now, there are no related queries because there's not enough data, not enough people searching it. You got a couple related topics here. Atari is a related topic. Earthworm Jim 4. And a video game. Now if we hit this little button here and go from worldwide to United States. We can see a more specific and more US centric version of the same data. And again, Intellivision Amico peaked on August 5th. <coughs> And we're sitting at only 5% in the U.S. currently. Now, if we break things down by state, we can see that Kansas, uh, people of Kansas are searching for Intellivision Amico over a lot of other places, like California has only got 39%, Texas 42 Florida 46 I mean, you got some states that are, so low that they're not even included in the data. They got zeros. It's not, not looking good. Now, of course, this is just for web search. If we go on over to YouTube searches, we could see that once again, August 2nd to August 8th is the high point. This is worldwide data, by the way. And on... Um, January 10th to January 16th, we're down to 30, which isn't that bad compared to the web search. Once again, Sweden, who was only at 99, they're really into it. Perhaps, you know, some PewDiePie fans are out there looking for Intellivision Amico videos, but Canada is number one in YouTube searches, probably due to all the uh, Dorkalicious fans searching up Intellivision Amico after uh, Kenny G talked about it. U.S. is number third, number three, with 93%. It's not bad, not bad. But you got Poland and Chile, which is kind of odd to me. I didn't think there'd be a, a lot of people in Chile on YouTube searching up in Television Amico, but apparently they are. Now, we're going to once again go to the U.S. and see how the U.S. data stacks up. We're all over the place here, people. March 5th to March 21st was a high point. It actually beat out August for the high point, which is kind of odd. August 2nd to August 8th was only at 66%. <clears throat> that means in the U.S. versus worldwide, the high point was way back in March. And the interest kind of went down. It's going all over the place, up and down, up and down. And currently we're sitting at 29%. But we were at 49% just at the beginning of uh, the year. So again, we're going down. A lot of peaks, a lot of valleys. This is not good. If you're looking for to sustain interest, to sustain hype, this is not the kind of chart you want to see. You want to see things going in a nice upward trajectory. This not good. Again, if we look at uh, interest in the U.S. just by YouTube searches, Utah, number one, 
<clears throat> Missouri, Kansas is up there again, Minnesota and Nevada. Big cities like California down at 8%. You know, I know it's a state, but I'm saying, you know, it has a big population in California and they're big cities. Chicago is the big city in Illinois and they're only at 30% for the whole state. Florida is down to 6 It's not looking good. I mean, you would want the interest in the bigger cities, the, the states with the higher population, as opposed to the states with the smaller population. It's not looking good for Amico. Again, not enough data to get you related queries, but you got uh, some related topics in television and television Amico. Those are the only topics related in YouTube searches. Uh, now if we jump on over to Intellivision Amico for the news search. That's people searching the news. Once again, you can see this chart worldwide is all over the place. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of peaks and valleys, little interest, then it goes away. A, little, a lot of interest goes away. It's not the kind of chart. You want to see it and currently we're at zero interest it completely died you had the highest amount of interest around august 2nd to the 8th again then just dead went back up august 30th had a little interest by september 6th you're dead again and it has not gotten above that zero percent threshold since it's not looking good. We got go by the interest by region. Chile, which is astounding. They are the number one for the new searches. Then you got Russia and Canada, Italy and the US taking fifth, but you can just see the discrepancy. Chile a hundred percent. And by Russia, you're down all the way to forty three percent. People not really looking for it on the news and the news tab on Google. Canada, you jump back down, you have to add to twenty two. Italy 16, U.S. 16. Uh, it's not looking good. Now we're going to once again go to the U.S. and see how the U.S. news searches went. Mm. The highest was November 15th to the 21st. But uh, a, lot, a lot, a lot of valleys, not too many peaks. Not a lot of people searching the news tab for Television Amico in the U.S. <laughs> Only four states have enough data through U.S. searches of the Google News tab to make it onto the chart. Minnesota, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Texas. This does not look good. There does not seem to be any hype, any average consumer looking at the news now our last chart is the Google Shopping. People who go to the little shopping tab and maybe they type in the Television Amico because they want to pre-order or they're looking to pre-order or where to pre-order. And the only point of interest is November 22nd to 28th. After that it's just zeros everywhere. Nobody was looking to order. No one was really searching for it on the Google Shopping tab. It's not even enough data to give us a search by region for the worldwide information. So we're going to go by the U.S. Hopefully there is some data there. Wow. It seems on uh, January 22nd to February 1st was the highest point of interest for the Google Shopping tab, Television Miko in the U.S., after that, we get this big old valley peak back up April 5th. And then after that, just a big old flat line. Nobody's really searching. It seems that New Jersey is the only place that has any data available for search on Google shopping in the U.S. That's, I don't know what to tell you folks. But there it is. That is the uh, Google Trends data for Intellivision Amico. There doesn't seem to be a lot of hype. Doesn't seem to be a lot of normal people searching it out. Doesn't seem to be a, any kind of interest outside of the shill or uh, hater communities, if you will. It just seems like nobody even knows it exists. Nobody even pays attention. There is, you know, 
any amount of shills talking about it to family, any word of mouth. It's just not happening. It's just not going anywhere. People are just not interested. Of course, we have this global pandemic. So, you know, the shills, the haters, people who might know about it don't really have an opportunity to go out and maybe talk to family, maybe talk to friends, co-workers, colleagues, clients, students, teachers about it. So that could affect the uh, way word of mouth is spread. But, we, you know, it is what it is. We are in the situation we are, and this is the data we have. And there does not seem to be much interest, much hype, or much uh, anything surrounding in television, Miko, unfortunately. But... uh I will keep you updated as things progress. Maybe we'll get some more interest. Maybe we'll get some more interesting uh, little factoids like we've been getting on this channel. This is the uh, number one Amico channel. So if you want news, views, information, commentary about Intellivision Amico, this is where you need to be. Of course, we do other things on this channel too. So uh, make sure you subscribe, check us out. Like this video if you like it. Dislike this video if you dislike it. Leave a comment if you got something interesting to say. And as always, love, peace, booty grease, we out this bitch.